Joseph, what what uh what did you see this weekend? I, I I'm just gonna stick with Shohei. Okay. Because oh. right now, oh, oh I, he's God. hands down to me the best pitcher in the league so far. He's this the season. best player. <laughs> oh, <player>. obviously, <laughs> obviously the best, the best player. player. He's been the best player for the past two years easily. But just pitcher, he, he didn't take one at bat all year so far. Best pitcher leads the league in expected batting average. Leads the league in expected slugging. Freaking guess how many barrels he's given up this year? Fucking two. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Not one barrel all year. I think he might be <laughs> the only guy who's done that. Yeah. From, yeah. At least that's qualified. Inc- that's incredible. Third time through the order. Opponents are hitting. Guess what they're hitting against him? Zero. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Zero. Not even a single hit. He struck out 11 guys, struck out the last six batters in a row. It's like he's like, and he's throwing, he's throwing like Zach Granke curveballs now, at least last outing. And I've never seen that that I can remember, but he's throwing like 72 mile per hour curveballs. It's the like the hand. guy, he's just fucking around now. <laughs> His last outing, seven innings, two hits, zero earned runs, couple walks, 11 strikeouts. He dropped his ERA down to 064, which is the best in baseball, an 082 whip, which is seventh, and then a 12.2 strikeouts per nine, which is third best in the big leagues. And then he hits bombs. <laughs> he well, he's almost, I was he gonna say he's almost yesterday. hitting. He's almost hitting 270 with five jacks. Yeah, he him, Taylor Ward, and uh Mike Trout went back to back to back. I got Angels Twitter went fucking ballistic on me yesterday because the Red Sox game had just ended. I had obviously had the Angels game on um, and I saw the notification that Ward hit a home run and I'm waiting for Cora to talk or whoever. uh, And then I get the notification that Trout hits a home run. I was like, oh, sick. And then Otani, like I know that Trout and Otani are back to back in the lineup. I don't know where fucking Taylor Ward hits in the Angels lineup. So (laughs) I'm, he leads off sometimes. Yeah, like I'm watching the game out of my periffs. So I tweet out Trout and Otani go back to back. Angels fans is all in the mentions. Bing, 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 bing. They're like, you, you fucking, fucking asshole. Idiot. You forget Taylor Ward. Fuck you, you pussy. What are you, a piece of shit, dude? I'm like, whoa, whoa. Like, be thankful that someone is talking about the Angels at all. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you are not the only one who missed that dude everyone yeah. when trout and otani go back to back that's the story they're just like whoever else, whatever else happens no one gives a fuck <laughs> no no and i like taylor ward i think like you know he had the a really good first half last year everyone's like, where the fuck did this guy come from uh i like taylor ward but Sorry that I wasn't locked in to Angels Royals and missed that it was back to back to back. I didn't have the sound on the game. I was watching it. Wasn't super plugged in. Uh, they were they were extremely aggressive, extremely angry about that. But these are these are Shohei Otani's um, percentile rankings on baseball savant as a pitcher. Average exit velocity, 81st percentile. Expected batting average, 98th percentile. Strikeout percentage, 96th percentile. Whiff percentage, 94th percentile. Barrel percentage, 92. Expected ERA and weighted and expected Woba, 90th percentile. Extension, 88th percentile. And why does that matter? Well, because he's 6'4 to start with. <laughs> and when he's letting it go. He's just that much closer to the hitter than everybody else. Hmm. That's not fun. That's not a lot of fun. No. Yeah. And on the on the offensive side, seventy uh, fifth percentile average exit velocity, ninety ninth percentile max exit velocity, eighty fifth percentile hard hit rate, ninety second percentile expected slug, eighty seventh in expected batting average, ninety first in expected woba. 85th in barrel rate. Like the dude is just a fucking freak. It's crazy. It's wild, dude, because his stuff is so nasty. But then he also has seven, no, one, two, three, four, seven different pitches. Pitches. Yeah. He throws them all. (laughs) It's like, what do you do when you're facing him? Like, can you look for anything? You're just like, I don't know. It's insane. There's just, you don't know what's coming. Dallas, let me ask you this as a former player. Um, Do you think, that because because we've all talked about the Shohei Otani's preparation and like when you're talking about 
Shohei Otani, the baseball player, who's a starting pitcher, and he's also a DH, and the behind the scenes work where a guy has to be in hitters meetings because like these are the pitchers that you've got today, but then he's also a starting pitcher, so you're you're learning the hitters on the other team, all the behind the scenes and all the time that goes into being a big league hitter and a big league starting pitcher, and not just any old starter, not just any old hitter, like you're amongst the best at both. Do you think that if it's hard to be better than what he's been this year as a starter, but if he was all in as a starter, do you think it's possible for him to be better? Or do you think because he's engaged in the game on on non-start days that that's kind of what keeps him better at both? What do you think the dynamic is? I I have always believed that there is something to a player who, and you can see it in young guys who are asked to DH early in their career as opposed to play the position that they came up playing. And sometimes you watch those guys struggle and it's because they're not engaged in the game and they don't know how to just hit. They don't know how to focus or what to focus on or how do I stay ready for those two innings that I'm not going to have an at bat, you know, like what, what am I doing? Um, and I think, and I have to say this obviously without having watched him perform in any other role other than a multi role player. Um, yeah, I firmly believe that this is a dude who, because he is playing baseball, that that is helping him on both sides, because I think there is always a cap to what you're going to be able to do. And then you could start the whole paralysis by analysis effect, meaning he could really start to overthink some things as opposed to being able to just flush a bad outing because I still got an at bat to worry about, or tomorrow I'm going to be able to get over the fact that I only went six and two thirds and only punched out eight and damn it. I gave up two runs because, because he's probably pissed about stuff like that. And now I'll go three for four to make up for it. So <laughs> he just, I, I feel like that's how he operates. And this is again, all going back to the psyche of an individual who is willing to put pin to paper and plot out their entire baseball life. Whether you think it's realistic or not, putting it down on paper is one step closer to it becoming a reality. That's how manifestation works. And you're watching this dude manifest him being the best baseball talent the world has ever and will ever see. Yeah. Jay, hey, I feel like you probably cooked up some spicy Shohei nugs. I could be wrong. Yeah, you're wrong. Sorry. Wow, <laughs> I feel like I feel like that was tapped. That keg was tapped. No, yeah, we're, I mean, we're already like everything the dude does, and that's why people get bored with it. Oh, well, let me guess, it's going to be historical. It hasn't been done since Babe Ruth, and it's I, like, well, yeah. And just remember, the reason the conversation about Babe Ruth was so fucking cool for so long is because nobody had done it then, and nobody had done it now up until dude, babe, right now. Fuck Babe Ruth. So you First get to all, be. First you of all, you get to Dallas, be your grandfather. You get to be your grandfather. Babe Ruth. No, he's a fuck serial you with killer. The horse you rode in on. <laughs> number <laughs> two, he didn't hit and pitch at the same time. And number three, when talking about, oh, he was the best to ever do it. Like baseball was like three years old. Who gives a fuck? Babe Ruth, everybody that fat does. fucking e- loser. Everybody. Shohei Otani is the best baseball it. player to ever live. And and Babe Ruth doesn't I, I, belong in the same. I, I honestly like. Yeah. I, I know you're like doing the Babe Ruth bit right now, but like there's no bit. That's how I honestly <laughs> feel. I honestly I do, feel that way. I do believe that when it's all said and done, that there will be a significant like a portion of the baseball f- fandom that has to be contended with that does truly believe that Shohei Otani is the greatest baseball player of all time. Um, like I think that's going to be a thing that gets argued, even if he doesn't have like the twenty year career of like you know a bonds or a hank aaron or somebody like that i do think i I think that's legitimate um but there's also this weird thing and it's i feel like it's only with baseball fans i don't see it in any other sport there's a weird thing where baseball fans it depends on which player was the best when they were growing up yeah like there are definitely some older gentlemen out there that will maintain that Mickey Mantle is far better than Shohei Otani. Like, they will tell you that. Like, I but, saw Lou Gehrig play. 
he could run fucking so, circles around Shohei, Shohei Otani. Like, no, he can't. No, so he that can't. to that point, though, like, and I totally understand that, and I think, I think that was but, a a relatable position, regardless of which person you were referencing, Mantle, Mays. Gehrig, who, who I don't know, era, who, you, I don't know who you were talking to, who was referencing Lou Gehrig's prime, but um, that's <laughs> God just, bless that person who's still kicking. Um, <laughs> no, but like the point, the point I was really going to make is, is that that was fine when we were talking about Bonds or Trout or Pools or Griffey or whoever. Shohei Otani is doing it on, as we've said many times, on an entire sphere of the of the game that those guys had absolutely nothing to do with. So the fact that they're going to say yeah, Mickey Mantle was better. Well, he fucking wasn't, though, because he wasn't also <laughs> pitching like that's just the end of the conversation for mm. that thing. And that's why Always. that's why it's a game changer in terms of like, oh, it's, you know, Babe Ruth will never be surpassed. OK, but like there's a guy who's done it uh, in the modern game, which we're all going to give credence to, I think, a little bit more. Um yeah, you and, always just apply the pitching to you. Uh, this is why this is why my argument is like I love it because it's so simple. It's so easy to just stop somebody dead in their tracks Mickey, when you hit them with this. Who's your favorite player? Who's your favorite player? And you got some old guy looking at you going, "Oh, fucking Mickey Mantle." Great. Now, could you imagine if Mick pitched through ninety-seven with wipeout sliders? And Babe, that, that's, that's all you got to do. Looking up from hell right now, screaming, looking at. <laughs> Shohei Otani's fastball slider combo with this twenty different curve. That's all. That's all you got to do. Who's your favorite player? Your favorite player is Aaron Judge. It's and you want you want to play that game in today's game. All right. Your favorite player is Aaron Judge. Could you imagine if Aaron Judge pitched like Shohei Otani? We, we we already know what Mickey Mantle looks like in the modern game. It's Mike Trout. The one thing We've been saying that right. for 10, 10, 12 years. Yeah, right. And, ex- exactly. And we're, and we're all at the point where like the Mike Trout versus Shohei Otani debate like kind of came and went without ever really being a conversation because like by the time Shohei had ascended, it, it had just like, like Trout wasn't quite at peak powers at that point, I guess, but like it had just become like such a non-conversation um, because he yeah. was, he was an unprecedented contributor to the game Talent. of baseball. Like Mickey Mantle's not and the baseline Sorry. is the baseline is what I always try to, try to have people remember when you talk about this and you're comparing eras and players and eras and blah, blah, blah. What was the average player's skill level then? So if you were to see a ridiculous trout-like talent with extremely average players back then, imagine what the average player back then looked like, right? How fast that average player was, what that average player's arm looked like, the, the power that average player possessed. Like that was, that was not fun to watch, and now you got a guy like Mickey Mantle running fucking circles around those guys. What what does that look like? That that's probably pretty fun to watch. That's probably pretty entertaining. Mm. Uh, that's that's cool. Like, and that's that's how players stand out. Now in today's game, it's why you you see a fucking six foot seven Aaron Judge snatching shit from over the wall and then blasting baseballs five hundred feet. <laughs> That's pretty cool to watch because that's not happening every day, yeah. everywhere across the game. I was looking back at my Shohei video and this one stat. I think this one stat just cements the GOAT conversation right now, what he's doing. It's like since 2021, he has about the same ERA plus and strikeout percentage as Pedro Martinez's career numbers. So he's basically Pedro <laughs> Martinez on the mound. And you would say he's one of the best pitchers of all time. Everyone would say that. Yeah. And yeah. then if you look at his hitting numbers since 2021, oh. he's got an OPS plus better than Dude. Willie Mays. Oh, his career Joe. numbers. Joe, the, the same old player. Guys, old the guys same are, player. Old guys are in their fields right now, Joe. Wow. Segoy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 